Hey, hey, it's Michelle from Monkey's Creations. Come on in. Good morning. What's up? Hey, hey. So I was going to do this kit yesterday, but y'all, I just ran out of time. Um, and then I had to go live in the VIP group last night. So we are doing this this morning. There's my son. What's up, Johnny boy? Hello, hello. I am good. I am good. I am good. So this is the gnome kit. So for those of y'all that got it, it came with this cute happy spring gnome. You ordered both of these? Yay. Um, and then this cute, he's got a watering can. So I found this gorgeous watering can ribbon and we're going to pair it with this yellow and this gorgeous purple um, snowdrift mesh so that is what comes in this kit um, if the VIPers are watching and you got this gnome kit that is absolutely adorable um, you can do this one the same way, okay? Um, so let's get that out of the way. Hello, hello. Oh, that's fresh. Chilly here too, y'all. Daggum. Bring it down. So your kit comes with the large flower boards and it comes with the zip ties. Um, I get asked all the time, why do you put zip ties in the kits when I use, the other all crooked, when I use pipe cleaners? For me, it's just preference. I like doing using the pipe cleaners. Um, but I'm going to show you that I you can use the, the zip ties. So I'm using all zip ties in this kit just to show y'all that it can be done, but it's just personal preference that I use um, pipe cleaners, okay? So, I have cut all this whole roll of mesh at 10 inches, okay? I have loaded every set of holes on the board except the very middle um, because we're probably not gonna need one there. Um, but we will find out when we get there. Thanks for floating my boat. I appreciate it. So mesh is cut at 10 inches. My ribbon tails are cut at 16 inches. Okay. So we are going to put our, let me explain this to you. When I am putting things on the board like this, um, this kit was in the website. It is already sold out. I always make sure that I'm putting tails in every other set. Okay? So I generally will start here at the top. That will be my first set of tails. No tails will go in this row, but they will go in this row. So I want to make sure that when I start put my tails here that I go here for my next set and then here for my next set. That way they do not sit on top of each other, okay? So, let's start. Now I cut 12 tails. I'm going to go ahead and put one on top of the other and we'll just get it ready 
so that we can put it right on top of that mesh. So find your middle, bring them together, just like that. And usually they will stay like that, okay? We're gonna take our 10 by 10 piece of mesh. Hello, everybody coming in. Let's get that gnome out of our way and we're just gonna ruffle it right up the middle just like that. Now if you want and it's easier for you, go ahead and clip it. Okay, right here's our top. So we're just gonna go right over that. Put our tails right over that. and zip tie them both together. I did wood burn this mesh. Thanks for the stars. Okay. Just like that. Let me figure out which way my tails are going. There we go. Okay, and then your tails will sit just like that. Okay, uh -oh. oh, there it is. So we are putting tails in every other piece. Thanks for the stars. You thought I was gonna use a different board, no ma'am. Okay, now I do have most of these done, so I will make a petal for each row. Okay, no tail is going in here. You can if you want, but you're you're really not gonna see it, and we're using this gorgeous purple mesh, and I don't wanna cover it all up. Hello, hello. Okay, now there's a lot of mesh going in here, so I am just cutting these as we go, just to make it easier. Good morning. I know this purple's gorgeous. Our tail ready for the next one. Oh, almost forgot my tails. You're working on putting away Christmas. Now I'm really not worried about the tails. I will fix those in the end. And then depending on actually how full you want it, you don't probably even have to use every set of holes. You're homesick, oh no, you're working. I do have some more of the St. Patty's kits coming for those of y'all that still wanted those. So those are on the way.
just one roll. That's all you need. 15 degrees. My clips came from Amazon. If you go to my website, look under my favorite tools, you will see my link. Just bringing all these tails to the top. Peacock kits are coming. Bunny kits are coming. Lemon kits are coming. So I do have a bunch of kits coming. I do, the VIP group does get first dibs on all kits. Yep, zip ties in every set. Oh, the zip tie gun is a game changer, y'all. If y'all if y'all are working with these boards and uh, don't have a zip tie gun, you are missing out. Let me tell you. do have a lot of goodies coming. Um, the VIP kit is Can-Am VIP. Um, there is a link at the top of my page um, that will take you to the payment um, gateway and then tell you, walk you step by step through that. Stop it, Jean. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. I've never heard her say that. <laughs> Nineteen. Y'all ain't right. Thanks for the stars. My water can ribbon. Well, with this one, there's no way to fix that on your tails. Um, on the ribbon, you will you will not see my ribbon upside down. <laughs> Dave started the pew pew, did he? Oh, I don't know. From Harbor Freight. Yeah, these kits did go quickly. Everybody's ready for spring. <laughs> Hello. Thanks for floating my boat. Just trying to tug this ribbon back a little bit. There we go. <laughs> I know, Janet. <laughs> mesh. So if you were just joining, I am only putting tails in every other. 
Um, these I will not get any more of. Of this particular, I do have some more gnome kits coming. Um, that's the same style, but patriotic. And those will probably come out probably next week. Or the week after, I'm not sure. And you can always, y'all, I cut my tails at 16 inches. You can cut yours at 14 inches if you want. That part is totally up to you. Y'all know I like my ribbon. I know I love this so much. I love any kind of snow, but it just gives them like more texture and and I just love it. And it does help with the coverage. So if you if you have like um like a very thin mesh, um like your white, your yellows, um those kinds of things you may not be able to do this method the way I am because it's going to be more see-through. Does that make sense? So you may have to make your ruffles longer um, or you may have to double up on them. It really just depends. Um, Stephanie, I will post the link to the VIP group after the live. I know, so springy. So not all mesh is created equal, y'all. <laughs> You're welcome. You finally have access? Did you lose access? How much did you cut? The mesh is all 10 inches. My ribbon tails are 16. An Easter bonnet. Ah, there you go. <laughs> Susan, I think we all have at one point or another. And I have a tower of mesh that just fell. Bye, Sherry. Hey, Sherry, were you the one that was going to send me? I have to check my messages. You need a B for your sunflower? I've been working on flower centers for the last two days. I am almost, almost caught up in orders. It'll take me the rest of the day to get caught up. Um, 
but I do have more patriotic coming. I know those are sold out. Um, the black rhinestone is sold out, but it's coming. Um, the pink, the bright pink is coming. Sherry, send me a message so that I don't forget, because I'll forget. Hello. Now all of these will start going up once we get this next row on there. Oh, was I done? Nope, one more. Right here. <laughs> all right let's get this on top get all these going out all right now so we did we we did we've done the entire row here so this is one this is two so we've completed row two now we're going to go to row three And no tails are going on row three, okay? So all mesh. Now here too, depending on the type of mesh you're using, you may not have to do every set of holes here. I'm going to because it's cut. Okay. Now some of you are probably saying, why didn't she work from the inside out? It really doesn't matter because whether I'm going this way or pulling my mesh this way, you're either gonna have to work on top or under. So whichever way you want to do it, is totally up to you. Okay, so I'll do the mesh again. I like a daffodil, yeah. Um, so 10 by 10, and then um, scrunch right up the middle. And even if you wanted, you could put it up where it's curved side up, whatever look you're going for. right in here. Maybe. Didn't want to go in there. <laughs> You have three rolls of plain yellow mesh. Do you think 20 or 22 inch cut? Um, so this is 10. I would probably put one on top of the other. 
So take one, put it over the other, or heat seal them together and you still get two pieces, but it's heat sealed. And I show y'all how to do that on my YouTube channel. And then you would only need essentially one petal per, just like I'm doing. Did that make sense? Trying to bring it closer to y'all so y'all can see down here in the middle, but okay. Now you can see what I'm doing. Oh, Maureen grabbed it for y'all. Thanks, good friend. So there is the link to the VIP group. It is twenty-seven dollars a month, but you get. Um, myself, you get Lori Franklin, the inventor of these Unique in the Creek boards, um, and you get Andrea Brown, um, the designer for Ranch House, and once a month we have a face, a fake bake lady who comes in, Jane, or, um, gosh darn it, um, I just lost her name. If she's watching, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, somebody, one of my VIPers, help me out. So we have a lot of fun in there. Pam James, that's it. Pam from... Don't ask me a name. But she does fake bakes in our group once a month. All right, last one. <laughs> Last one in this row anyway. Okay, now if we want to check, all you got to do to make sure you got them all is just go and grab them just like this. If it's loose, you'll know that you missed a petal. Okay, so see how this one comes up? Because I haven't done this row number one, but I wanted to show you that if you just lift those up, if it's loose, then you know you have to grab another petal. All right, let me find out where that, I put that one right here. So we're back to where we're putting tails on. So like I said, we started here is considered the top of your board. So our tails go here and here. So this set is gonna go here, okay? So if I went here and here and then here, then we're not gonna be lining them up. Does that make sense? The small ice pick I have, um, I believe I got that from Hobby Lobby, actually. But I'm sure Amazon has them. So, hold on, I forgot where I was. All right, so we're right here. So, I'm gonna go right here, and this one is getting a tail. Oh, that's coming from the back door. My son's here, though, so I don't know if he has a friend coming over. 
but that was the back door. I know they didn't come in because my dogs would have definitely let me know. <laughs> what size box? Um, generally ones like this I can ship in a 20, 20 by 6. But it really just depends on what wreath I'm making. My big Texas size wreath ship in a 22, 22, 8. My sunflowers, those kinds ship in a... 24, 24, 6. The ice pick I use for putting holes in my wreath attachments to feed my pipe cleaners through. to attach to the wreath. Okay. Now I'm thinking I'm going to go every other. So my tails went here. Okay, right here. So I'm going to try and I'm going to skip this one and I'm going to go straight to this one. Oh, she's having a bad day. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, girlfriend. Where do I get my boxes? You line. I need to message you, Lisa, actually. So let's see. And I'm thinking every other is going to be fine. But here again, if you're using just the regular deco mesh or the value mesh, you may have to do every set. And I'm actually thinking every other is going to work, y'all. can see it's already getting really full in here. Oh, let me clip that because I forgot to get my ribbon tails ready. You struggle with your ribbon tails? Just find your middle and then bring them around just like that. And then just use your fingers, y'all. Use your fingers. have a good wired ribbon then it's going to work for you. <laughs> I 
just wreck him. Alright, so we've got our last set. And I will turn this over in just a minute and show y'all exactly where I went. Oh, I'm going to do it again. Let me get this tails ready. Oh, I just got a crick in my neck. Okay. Bye, Deanna. This is why I don't mess with my tails until I'm done. <laughs> How do I secure my wreaths to the box? If you go to my YouTube channel, I have a whole video on how I do it, but I use zip ties. Okay. So let me flip this over. Oh, did I miss it? Yep, right there. Let's clip that one. All right, so we did all of row two, all of row three, row four. We are able to do every other, so I'm just gonna take those out. Okay, so this is row one. All of row two, all of row three, every other on row four. And we're probably just going to need one right in the middle. But let's figure out where we want to put our sign. So do we want our sign right in the middle? Let me turn it around so y'all can see that. Oh my God, that's so pretty. Um, do we want it right in the middle? Or do we want it off to the side? So if we put it right in the middle, I will probably put my bow either down here or down here. If we put it off to the side, my bow will probably go here, going that way. What do y'all think? Y'all like it in the middle? You was grocery shopping. What? Some say middle, some say side, but it looks like the majority is middle. So this is what we're gonna do. If you want your sign off to the side, what I would probably do is put a piece of mesh here and a piece of mesh here, okay? I, because it's going right in the middle, I'm gonna take these completely out, and I'm gonna put a piece right here in the middle. This is where I'm going, okay. right here, right smack dab in the middle. If you were doing your sunflowers, this is where you would put your sunnas. Okay. What I am going to do, since I do have all of this already cut, what I will do is I will put two side by side. just like this, and we're gonna fill up this middle real quick. 
Now you definitely do want to put mesh here because you need to have something to set your sign on, okay? You don't want to leave it empty because then your sign will sink into the middle. Um, this kit is already sold. Okay. So see how nice and full that is? Now I did do cable mounts with the E6000. So we're going to fold, or I'm sorry, take the, um, pipe cleaners, oh my gosh, I can't think, um, through here, or you can use zip ties, totally up to you, actually let's do zip ties, let's make it all zip tie, that way y'all know exactly how to do it. So let's figure out, number one, where the top of our board is. So right here, so this is Senna, okay? So we're going right here. So I'm just figuring out where the holes are. Feed your pipe cleaner or your zip tie, whatever you're using, right through there. Let me take my glasses off. On. I keep losing my, my, okay, there we are. Now I will turn this over and show you in just a minute. Using zip ties is a little bit harder because you got to feed them through. I, actually, I'm not. Look, y'all don't even want to hear me cuss, okay? <laughs> I am using my pipe cleaners. You can use zip ties if you want. And try to feed them through them holes. It will work. But pipe cleaners for this part is so much easier. All right. Make sure I didn't move it around. going to do it tight because I did just put those cable mounts on there, number one. And number two, I need to make sure I get this top in. <laughs> it is the hardest part. <laughs> okay. We don't need to make it any harder on ourselves. Alright, 
So now we can snug it. I don't want to squish my mesh, but I don't want my sign to move either. So I want to snug it just enough to where it doesn't move, okay? All right, now we can do our tails. Okay. Oh, what holes am I using? I did tell y'all. So, I actually should have went right here. I did one that way. Why didn't I do the other? Hold on. Let me fix it. So to find your, your middle, it's right here, and then just so it's row one, two, and row three, and then one, two, three, and four. But it really just depends on where you put your cable mounts, okay? But that's where I did it. This was a kit. It is already sold out. So you can see if we did ribbon tails in every set, it would be so much ribbon. Um, and you could, but I would use a cheaper mesh, one that you really don't mind covering up. I definitely did not want to cover up all of this gorgeous purple. going and then we'll make a bow ten inch ruffle Hold on, let me bring this ribbon caught in that pipe cleaner. There we go. to play with these tails a little bit more. Sign, this sign was in my kit. All right, look how cute. 
So let's make a bow. Get that out of the way. Let's figure out which one we want on top and which one we want on bottom. Put the yellow on bottom. Now you could have definitely left one of those tails off where you're putting your bow, but totally up to you. I don't know where y'all can get the sign, hon. I, <laughs> I'm, sorry, I'm trying to make a bow. Um, I get mine wholesale, so I don't know where you could get the sign. I haven't sourced it anywhere else. Yeah, I did lose a doubt. I have no idea where it went. All right, so here is... The directional ribbon let's take care of that right now just cut a piece and put it right on top so that our watering cans are facing down and then we just start our loops right on top of that this tail down, it's facing the right way. Okay, we'll do our last loop. Definitely have enough ribbon. Need a pipe cleaner. Let's 
grab all of this. And then snug it as tight as you can get it. Right there's the stack. Nice one right on top of the other. Okay. You're welcome. To the other side. And you can see, like Judy, you see where my thumb is? My thumb is right there in the middle and it's still holding all of that together. Okay? So this finger is back here holding this part and my thumb is up here holding this part. So even if your bow wants to give, you're still holding it right here. So that's why I can tug on them and it does not move. Okay. And let's, let's bring it over here. So I'm just going to find two holes and feed the pipe cleaner right through it. You always see me take my board to the edge. That way when the pipe cleaner or the zip tie gets in there, it goes right through it. Let me just take my glasses off. Definitely don't give up, y'all. Don't give up. All right, let's get our tails cut.
one goes over here. That is cute. So we actually use less than a roll of mesh. Okay, so I still have one, two, three, four, five pieces. Um, yeah, I could have put it in there, um, and it would have probably been just fine. Um, but it may have looked smushed. Um, so if, if you're trying this, you know, it, it really just depends on the mesh you're using, um, how much you need. So if you've watched me long enough, you know that I always try to use um, one roll of mesh or less. Um, now there's, there's times that I use more, but I know that a lot of y'all, um, you know, may be really struggling to, to bring your business, um, keep your business going or something like that. So if I can show y'all how to do a gorgeous wreath with one roll of mesh, then that's less you need to charge your customer, right? So... That's always my goal. Okay, so less than a roll of mesh, less than two rolls of ribbon. I still have ribbon left on these. Um, I'll take this off so you can see. So they still have that much ribbon left on each of these. So, there you go. Look how cute. So, if you're in the VIP group and you got this kit, you can do this one the same exact way that I did this one. Totally up to you. So, there it is. And it's still plenty full. All right, so I will turn it around. Now these will get cut and just put in the holes so that nothing is gonna scratch your customer's door. Just like that. Of course, I'm gonna make it prettier, y'all. Okay, and then right here we will see two holes side by side. I just use a zip tie, run it right through there. Maybe. There we go. Okay, and then just cut off that end. And that's what you hang it by. All right. So recap, all of row two, all of row three, every other on row four, and then I put two right here in the middle. All right, that's it. I am going back to my kitchen table because it seems that's where I live lately um, to work on some more orders for y'all's flower centers. Um, so hopefully I'll get the rest of those out tomorrow. So y'all have a good day. Um, what is today's Tuesday? And I will probably see y'all tomorrow. All right, bye y'all.